You two are the laziest motherfuckers. Hey, welcome to episode 124 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm Nick. I'm here with Severn. Yep. And Blake. Hey. How's it going, guys? Um, pretty good. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah? Yeah. Great. You guys been playing stuff? <laughs> have, have you been playing anything, Sam? <laughs> just standoff. Yeah. It's just the same same old game I'm trying to get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, how far through? Uh, uh, GTA 5? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. online never ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the last of us. How many hours of... through are you now? Oh, I want to say approaching 20. Okay, okay. Um, Has your opinion of things changed? Uh, no, I, I think I played through the moment we talked about last week. Uh-huh. Where um, the the moment that creates the disconnection between you and, oh, you and Joel. Yeah, yeah. The fla- is flashback? I thought, yeah, I yep. thought it was kind of weak. Yeah? But, yeah. Uh, and and my, my reasoning was, I thought, <clears throat> uh, going back to the first game, I thought, that you know they say this in the game that she'll be killed mm. if if they try to find this cure but i always thought it was like there was no cure and that was like the pursuit of like oh. a thing that never could happen yeah maybe well the thing is like <clears throat> it would kill her yeah and potentially get a cure but it's like they don't actually yeah. really know if they could actually really get a, a cure yeah, just so like, my, in my head I was going down that line of yeah. like it, it's it's hope. What, yeah, what yeah. they have. Yeah, it and is. It, and it rested on this one person. Yeah, but that there was nothing. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure what gave me that impression, but I always thought that this was a thing that couldn't be achieved. Okay, I thought I it was a thing that to me was like a maybe, like mm. we kill someone and maybe get something. Right. Um, well, that that's where my head was. Yeah, and but they kind of talk about it as if that was going to happen. Yeah, and that the nightmare would be over. Yeah, I Yeah, I I know what you mean, but I still felt like that's just them saying like that's just like the way they talk about it. Mm. Yeah. Blake, how far through it are you? I finished it. Ooh. Mm. Has has your opinion changed? No. Good uh, game. It's still a bloody good game. Good story? Yeah, and yeah. I love it. I Re- really I really love it. Okay. All flaws and all? Yeah. Cool. Like there's there's only <clears throat> there's only one part in the game that I actually don't like, and it's a boss fight that's just a little bit annoying. I mm. I've heard about this boss fight. Yeah. Towards the end. Um. Yeah. Getting close to the end. Okay. I I ruined this for sort myself of close because to the end. they they did a huge art dump on our oh, station. Oh yeah, it would have been on there. And I checked out some of the art, and I was like, I know I'm gonna see something bad, and then yeah, I yeah. saw something cool, and yeah. then I read the title of it, and I was like, damn uh, it, yeah. Mm. So I I think I saw the boss that you're talking about. Yeah, it's it's like it's cool, but like the fight is just annoying. Right. It just goes on too long. It it doesn't go on too long. It's just it's too hard. It's a it's like the boss will if if the boss gets close to you, you're dead in one it's a one shot death. Ah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and you can't dodge it. Okay. You can't dodge it. You can't dodge it. And all through the game, like you can dodge clickers and you know, because there's a cool there's a dodge button. Okay. You know, so you can just easily dodge stuff all the yep. time. And this, it's like you get close dodge note. Dead. Interesting. Yeah. So you've got to keep your distance. So you've got to really keep your distance. It's fucking a fast motherfucker that's like... Oh, yeah? Right on you. Yeah, like it doesn't look like it. Yeah. But it's fucking fast. Huh. you got to get it. This is so... I hope, I hope this doesn't spoil things for people, but there's like a lot of like... Because um, it's quite big, there's like a lot of doorways and like cracks in the mm. walls that you can like slip through. Mm. So what I did was like slip through these cracks and mm. it would try to force its way through these oh, cracks cool. and you'd, you'd be like shooting it and then it would eventually bust through the wall and then cool. you got to like run around again. I do mm. like that. Like yeah. in the boss fights, the environmental like, destruction. It's it's really cool. I just think that like, man, the one, like the one shot death, if you, if you mess up is, is just a little bit too brutal. I, I get it. Well, yeah. well, how, how many times did you die? I had lost count. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I wasn't even playing it on hard either. Yeah. I was playing it on just like medium. I mean, okay. If, uh, if it's one shot kill, and uh, what do they? I mean, it's just this hard. Just have more health. It's just a longer fight then. Like they, they can't. Hard? They yeah, certainly can't. They certainly can't well, make it, would it more lethal. Be, it, 
like if you like playing it on hard like there's a lot of diff you can you can adjust a lot of different difficulty like things so you can have like less resources uh monsters have i guess more health or something huh. um less ammo yeah. whatever all all this stuff like um things see you from a, a like yep. greater distance that yep. sort of thing so you can adjust all those or you can just adjust like the whole lot in one go yeah under you know easy interesting that they give you that thing. that much customization. yeah you get you can difficulty. get down and like granular but i i like that because like i ended up having it on medium but with like heaps of resources because <laughs> i <laughs> okay. wanted to i wanted to get through all the um the ability trees like i wanted to yeah, get okay. get as much and like make as much like upgrades as possible because that's fun i don't want to be yeah. like like still you're still scrounging for ammo and stuff it's mm. it's like i was never like i've got so much like resources i'm but there were times where like i get to a point and i'm like i've just run out i've just used up all my ammo in a fight mm. and i'll have like one bullet and a gun and i'm sneaking wow. around all my encounters i'm walking away with a lot of ammo yeah almost Everything. I mean, um, there there were a lot of encounters where I didn't really run out of ammo. Yeah. But there were some that I'm like, come out of it with only just with I just laid everything down on onto these things. Is there any sort of incentive to play on these higher difficulties? Trophies, bro. Yeah, ah, trophies, right. of course. If you like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. yeah if sure, you hate yourself. I'm sure, if Dane played it, he'd be like on the hardest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If he played it. Yeah. If he played it. Um. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like Are you going to play through it again? Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about it because I did enjoy the um encounters a lot, the combat encounters. Mm. That's why I kind of almost wanted an almost like endless kind of just go from one end of a city to another mm. going through different mm. like combat encounters because yes. it's, it's so much fun, especially when like you haven't shot a bullet and you're just sneaking around like stabbing Oh, yeah, people, okay. Yeah, you, know? you, you just stealth into encounters. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Like okay. I... I was always feeling like, man, if I ended up shooting, in a, if I ended up in a gunfight, it was a failure. Okay. Yeah. Like, mm. I, I, I felt like that. But, I mean, that... You and know. yet you didn't have a glut of bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, did you fail a lot, or...? Um, th I mean, that's that's also just part of the fun. Like, sometimes you just went, walk into a situation where the setup of the environment is tricky to stealth around. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you 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 might kill one person, maybe another person, and then you get spotted, and it's all on. Yep. And you and at that point, I'm just like, go ham. What, what, yeah, you gotta yep. go for it. Yeah. I I can sort of say where I am. I think I'm heading to the island. I think. The island. I think I I just uh some scarred people. Oh yeah. Captured me. I I guess that's quite a big spoiler actually. <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking. Are you? <clears throat> Are you Ellie or Abby? Abby. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say too much. All right. All right. Okay. Well, uh, wh before we get into other games you guys have been yeah. playing, uh, there was a big dump of game reveals and trailers and whatnot uh, yesterday as of recording. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. Uh, it was the Xbox, was it like a press conference, just like a games reveal, I guess mm -hmm. their substitute for E3. Mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of stuff was revealed or announced or showcased. Mm. Let's talk about some of the big names. Uh, let's start with the biggest name of all, Halo. Take it away. <laughs> it uh, looks dumb. <laughs> uh, What's now, dumb about I, it, Nick? Okay, well, it looks like it should have been planets released. Planets don't work like that? Huh? Is, is it planets don't yeah, work pla like that? Planets, planets aren't rings. Yeah. Um, mm. No, the, the problem I have is that it looks like it should have come out at the end of the last generation or the start of this generation and not the end of this generation interesting you're, you're basing that on the visuals yeah yeah uh, on top of that the gameplay is it looks like sort of sort of standard gameplay halo um i did not like the story wrapping they were do doing like the the, the character that was like angry at the master guy? chief yeah. the whole time it was just it felt real over the top <laughs> yep he was a monster right that gray guy how are you talking about that no, I'm, no talking about, I'm talking about the friendly pilot guy. Yeah, the guy with uh, the big beard. Who, who uh. for inexplicably at the start of the video was flying directly towards cannons. Hmm. <laughs> He's not a... Because there was, there was a trailer, maybe last E3, mm. of him just finding Master Chief in space, right? And powering his suit back up. And then being like, oh. Uh, okay, so this is the continuation of that. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see that trailer, evidently. But yeah. uh, still don't like him. Yeah, 
He just seems like he's the new Cortana. What's what's your problem? My, I guess my problem is that he's annoying, <laughs> and he's just kind of like uh, you're out of your you're out of you're out of line, McGonagall. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chief. You're a, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, kind of like, I don't like know. you're a loose cannon master. Exactly. Chief. It's it's just uh, I don't know a little. I'm three days from retirement. <laughs> exactly. I can't no, no, I got I got to go out there and get those parts. <laughs> no, you have to stay inside and yeah. wait for me. No, I'm gonna go out and look for parts. We'll go out and look for parts together. <laughs> oh, okay. Then it's just like, yeah. come on, guys. Um, yep. Uh, and then you know what about the what about the um the big gray guy? What did you think of him? Uh, you could probably see a dentist. Oh jeez, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he seems yeah fine. I guess I don't know. I have no connection no problems to that with character. his lines. Uh, it, it was obviously very melodramatic, <laughs> a, a real real monologuer of a character. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know whatever. Like like it's for it's a style. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't like blown away. I was hoping for, like yeah. a real. I'm not like a huge Halo fan either, but I was uh like ready to be excited about this game that they announced what seven years ago, mm. eight years ago, yeah. And oh, it Jesus, now looks it? like wow. It's it's ne- it's just why so long? <laughs> I guess you know. Yeah, if I'm to theorize, I would. It it was a current gen game, maybe being postponed to this. New console, but it doesn't look like it should be coming out of the new console. Yeah, I don't know what their rendering team is doing, and also, like, I- I'm in agreement with you, Nick. I-, yeah. I think it looks horrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Something's gone wrong. Um, you can't agree with me. I take, I've changed my mind. Halo's great. No, okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, it it looks way too saturated. Uh, it's their mascot too, like that. Yeah, uh, the Xbox yeah. mascot. I yeah. I thought that would be. Pulling all the punches, right? Out. Exactly. Mm. No, they, they shouldn't be pulling punches. They should be yeah. throwing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it does feel like they've been pulling them though. You're, mm. they've been receiving them. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, they're uh, drinking them, drinking too much punch. Yeah, I because Halo was good, but yeah, well, now I mean, it kind of looks like a B tier game. It's, I mean, it was Bungie, right? And yeah. yeah. Now Destiny is the new, the new good Halo. But this is this yeah. is like their flag. I, dude, my, this is Microsoft's flagship property. You know. Like, and their creative studio, three four yeah. three. Yeah, when when they are going out to showcase stuff, you know, when, when you think of like the icon for Microsoft game properties, Master Chief, mm. and that helmet is is what you think of. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like a real. It's just a, there's a big question mark of like why why does it look so much worse than it should. Why does the gameplay look so standard? And yeah, it just look Yeah, it standard. That's yeah. how it felt. Like he gets out of that like that ship or whatever. And the first thing he sees is one of those little guys. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh I'm just, and it this is jumps in a, a conveniently placed warthog yep. and it's just Yeah. And then does the thing where, you know, you're driving the warthog into another group of people, you jump out, you shoot some people, and I'm like, this is like every open it's, world. It's literally the first Halo. Yeah, it's, that's what it, it, this is yeah, all yeah. straight out of the first level of the first Halo game. Yeah, and maybe that's like they're trying to bank on that sort of uh, nostalgia of mm. this was mind blowing back in two thousand five. Yeah, but it's not two thousand five anymore. Well, remember when the I think one of the the first new Halo came out that was not made by Bungie. Yeah, and they'd like like that was more exciting than this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's weird, right? Yeah, <laughs> the only the, the the only thing that is interesting to me is that it's got an open world. It seems like yes. Did they say that? Well, it, I don't think they did. I, they I, I, I don't I think they did. But read like, into it, but the you, trailer certainly. You go to a map and it's like this huge open area with mm. like all these icons on the screen, and I'm like, this is looks very open world. If they made an entire open world ring, mm. that'd be kind of cool. Yes. Yeah. I agree with that. I think uh, if it's like an open world Halo where the world loops back around on itself. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and that's pretty cool. Like, what? It, okay, here's wild concept. You can jump in like a banshee and fly yeah. across the ring. That would, like, if they'd, if, if in that trailer they'd been like, yeah, oh, you see that 
You, you see that <laughs> ring up there? You see that ship battle? We're yeah, going to fly go through it. We're going to participate. We're yeah. going to land somewhere else. I mean, like, that would have been incredible. Yeah. But not. No, nope, but they didn't. Yeah. We're going to see that cannon over there. Yeah. We're going to drive over there. Yeah. We're going to fight some monsters. Yeah. We're going to use an elevator. See that elevator? <laughs> you can go on it. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, uh, they all, We just, uh, before we started the podcast, we watched a couple of the trailers uh, because I had only seen the Halo one. Psychonauts, mm-hmm. what did you guys think? It's fine. I don't get the... I haven't played Psychonauts. I played the tutorial of Psychonauts. <laughs> okay, um, yep. And then stopped playing. Uh, yeah. So I don't get why everybody loves Psychonauts. Uh, is it a story game or is it a gameplay game? Like, is it... What, what's <laughs> what's the thing? Or is it... Okay, so it's a pretty it's a pretty good... Pl- it's a solid platformer. Yeah. That's... Uh, so right there, you've got a pretty solid game. Yeah. Um, but it is you're you're gonna play it for the characterization of the story. And right. Like the, okay. The sort of mind bending trippiness of okay. of where it takes you. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh Tim Schafer game, so it's it's like very cleverly written and funny mm. and full of gags. Um, and I'm stoked because I really enjoyed Psychonauts, mm. but I enjoyed it not strictly because of mind blowing gameplay. Yeah. I I enjoyed it because of like the weird characters mm. world and. Hmm. Uh, and premises and some of the trippy stuff they do with level design. Hmm. There's like lots of w- like worlds twisting and bending, yeah. and because uh, you're playing within someone's brain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that trailer definitely appealed to me because hmm. it's more psychonauts. It looks like visually uh, looks fine to me. Yeah, you, yeah. you artists will probably. It looks fine. It looks like a cartoon artists. game. <laughs> it just looks like a cartoon game. It doesn't need <laughs> anything. Yeah, it's better but, than Halo. But I I liked the uh the sort of like kaleidoscopic visuals and uh uh you know just sort of the the aesthetic hmm. the art direction I thought was quite interesting. Uh, I could, there was some signs that the world would be kind of twisted and bendy again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, but, well, what's his deal? Is he like an ant? <laughs> What? Yeah, what, what is, is he? he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a good question. What is he? What are you saying? He, he. main guy, main guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, in the, I don't know what he is in the second game, but in the first game, he was just a guy at Psychonauts camp, mm. which is like a camp for people, like who want to have psychic powers. I think, if I recall, yeah, if you want to go it's, into it's people's like, minds, like, right? That's the thing. It's like astronaut camp. Yeah, like space camp, but it's for psychic kids. And yeah. he, I think he's getting bullied. Uh, and then some some weird stuff goes down, and he has to sort of rescue mm. everybody. But uh, he's you know kind of like a weedly. Uh, he looks up to these superheroes, but he himself is kind of small and weak. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's basically it. And, it's, and he goes into people's minds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He goes into their minds. Uh, I I'm trying to remember why. I think there is some weird thing happening that's like enslaving people mm. or or messing with their brains anyway. Right. Uh, and you kind of save them slash try and find the source of this problem. Right. Okay. Uh, but but it's sort of the because you're going into their brains, what you're actually dealing with is their like their subconscious and yep. like their dreams and fantasies and 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 fears. Uh, and that's just really enjoyable because that's what a what a nice way to build out a level of like mm-hmm. this level is made out of someone's fears, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So there was a Pixar movie about this, uh, Inside Out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, e- and like that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good movie. But this is more. This is much more uh, uh, weird. Yeah. Okay. Pixar plays that quite straight. This play. This is played for uh, bizarreness. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do we see? What did you think of the um, Jack Black soundtrack, though? You a fan of Jack Black? Uh, you know what? I, I do like Tenacious Jack D. Black. Uh, I I do like Tenacious D. I'm not like super... I'm not like a huge... I'm not going to like follow their just social feeds or whatever. You know, I'm... <laughs> I, but like, you know, I, I, I like them back in high have, school. Have you... Have I have you... I have respect for Jack Black. Oh, okay, that's cool. As a, as a creator. Yeah. Do you, um, um, do you know about his gaming channel? Yes, I... I uh, honestly, I have. It's goofy, yeah. Uh, but I love the running gag. Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> Wait, what's the running gag? Running he never gag plays games never on plays it. <laughs> <laughs> He's always like, "Sorry, guys, no game today. I've got to do this concert or whatever." Yeah. It's like always, "Sorry, I've no games today." <laughs> there's one. There's one where it starts off and it's like his head overlaid over some like I think Fortnite gameplay, mm. and he's like, "We're playing some Fortnite," and then like. 
uh, something happens and it was re- revealed that it's just a green screen and he's not playing and it's just a video <laughs> running. <So good. laughs> and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> um, it's great, but it's just it's just him. It's just him, him and his kid goofing him and around. His kids and his band and like, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Uh, so I've got a lot of respect for him. Yeah. He was at, uh, I think, he was, yeah, I, I was watching it. He was at like E3 last year and they had like behind the scenes, him in the green room with like Tim Schafer and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's I'm uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, we saw the Forza yeah. trailer. How does that compare to <laughs> yeah, uh, Gran Turismo? I I think the Forza one was way more impressive. Ah, um, interesting. Forza is is that a simulator or is that a like arcade more arcade game? It, it's more arcadey than yeah Gran Turismo. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's code word for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I was surprised to see it look that good. Um, the reflections were good. Like, yep. they, they must be doing that, that ray tracing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, textures were good. Yeah. Like, the art was really good. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I thought Gran Turismo looked good. <coughs> but, man. Like, what, um... After seeing that, I was like, yeah, this is the... If you had to buy a console... Yeah. Which one would you be Ooh, getting right good now? question. Oh, uh, the console? Yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for what? Um, For what the games are like. Yeah. Like, I actually want to see games. Uh, Like, I, I guess hey, I know what Hey, you saw Halo. What else do you need to see? Oh, shit. Mm. Um, Like, they didn't show Hellblade, uh-huh. which, which I think is a, maybe the most interesting looking mm. title right now. A Ninja Theory mm. Microsoft-backed studio. Yeah. Um, Didn't they say it was going to be set in... Iceland, though? Don't know. I think I heard that it was going to be set in Iceland. Was it the same character? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was listening to it, not watching it. Right. Um, wait, th- th- so they talked about it? Yeah. At so, the presentation? I'm pretty... Uh, they didn't show anything. Actually, no. Maybe it was... Okay. No, I think it was because I was watching the Giant Bomb guys right. watch it, and I think they were talking about it, that they'd heard that it was going to be set in Iceland. <laughs> so um, get, you're getting it. Third really, hand, very third hand, <laughs> <laughs> and and our listeners are getting it fourth hand. Yep, I wouldn't buy anything right now. I'm just. I don't think you tr- can. Yeah. Well, shit. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm waiting to get through this freaking Last of Us game. Oh yep. And then the next thing will be Cyberpunk. So that's that's what's that's what my agenda looks like right now. Do you think Cyberpunk will be uh for the new consoles as well? Yeah. Probably. They, have they made any announcements on that front? I don't, don't, no, think, I don't so. think so. Yeah, I would be very surprised given the release date. Yeah, I know the Wikipedia says that they're going to come out. What Cyberpunk's going to come out on current gen consoles? Yeah, and yep. I want to see how bad it looks. <laughs> yeah, I feel like well that that was the thing with The Witcher, right? That like, mm. um, they had to downscale some stuff to fit for the console. Yeah, of course, man. And we were, and all the PC people were like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Yep, no shadows on. Yeah, anything. they were like they were like <laughs> mods to like be like make it look more like have the, the E3, E3 presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I mean, have you seen The Witcher on the Switch? The Switcher, Ooh. the Switcher. Uh, yeah, I saw images. I think it's pretty shocking. You have to play that handheld. You have to for no while well, for it to look decent. <laughs> handheld. I thought I thought docked is the uh, better way to play it. Well, yeah, Wait, but then, saying, like, then you oh, see, the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it's on a smaller screen, you don't notice yeah. it okay. yeah. as badly. The and you, smaller and you screen, kind of, you can't see the smaller uh, screen. Arms straight out. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah. So, so it, it might not look like a technical powerhouse on the Switch, but let me ask you this: Is it is it like uh, compelling that you can ha- play it handheld? Compelling? Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Like, does the fact like it's that, cool? It's cool that they got it on there because I think that's an achievement. Getting uh-huh. their game on there. I thought it would never get on there. There's, I was like, there's no way it's going to that. And then I see that it did it. And then I see what they did to get it on there. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, yeah, I get that's it. why. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. That's, uh, that's not the way to play The Witcher, though, if you want to play The Witcher. No. How, what's, the, what's the right play? PC. Way to play? Okay. With a controller. <laughs> with every, <laughs> every controller. mod possible. With all the mods. <laughs> Actually, I did download mods for it. To... I, I'm put off. By having to pick up mods for a game, you don't have to. Yeah, but but it just a lot of people when they people talk do. about uh, yeah. Bethesda games and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. it's like Bethesda it's game. mod mod central. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have to 
play Bethesda games, the mods. I, I've just heard people talk about it. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, well, the thing is, I think Bethesda puts a lot of emphasis on the modability of their games. Okay. Like, Skyrim had a creator kit, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, Morrowind had their, like, creator kit. Yeah. Oblivion, I don't actually think, had one. But uh, but people modded the heck out of that game yeah. anyway. So... It was usually, like, it's usually after the game has been out for a while, people start really, like, modding actually like new levels and new areas and new yes especially when and... the last game came out in like 2011 yeah you know? that's i mean that's what's keeping that game going is like yeah all the all the user content that's just being made are they doing another skyrim are they are they skyriming for the for the new consoles i don't know i didn't see one i saw um okay so there was that uh um obsidian game uh-huh. that it was a pre-rendered thing but it showed, I guess, what they're hoping the gameplay will look like. Uh-huh. And it looked like you're in a dungeon. Uh-huh. A sword comes up very yeah. much. Uh, a sword comes up. You're holding it very much like in Skyrim. Okay. And then another hand comes up with a spell in it very much like Skyrim. Okay. And it's like, I think they're just making a better... They're doing Skyrim? Yeah, I think they're, they're doing, just... They're doing an Elder Scrolls? Yeah, I think they're just making better Elder Scrolls. Eldest Scroll. Yeah. I think they're just like... <laughs> I think they're just like... You know, maybe uh, maybe uh, Bethesda can't be uh, trusted anymore. Uh, it's uh, you know what. So unfortunately, I think that al- f- that might be a a good call. I mean, ha- haven't they already made a better Fallout with um, Outer Worlds? Uh, I've heard people I've heard, compare that to yeah. Fallout, and they're like, "Yeah, this is like a way better Fallout." Yeah, yeah. So they're just like, "Let's make a way better Skyrim." So I've heard that the next Elder Scrolls game is like 2024 or something That's like that. That's so far. It's so far. Consider that uh, Skyrim came out in 2011. Yeah. What game series can you think of has had that long a gap between... That is that popular and has had that long a yeah. gap between games. The only one I can think of is maybe Fallout 2 to Fallout 3. Uh, I don't know. How, how long was the Duke Nukem Forever thing? <laughs> uh... Yeah, fair point. Uh, I I would I would argue that that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, what about Doom? Wasn't the Doom three was like two thousand five or something? Yeah, Doom two. Yeah, fair fair Doom, point. Doom three, yeah. and then like the the last Doom was just a few years ago. That's yeah. true. And these are all uh, Zenimax properties. <laughs> a, a new um a new stalker. Oh out. yeah, actually yeah. So that that's an old ass game. I, um, yes. I, how, though this is, I would say that's less, uh, you know, I think there are, there's like a market for games that are not that popular that kind of get rebooted. Mm. And I would fall, oh, that would sort of put that on them. Like, like Jagged Alliance is another one. Uh, I'm actually really keen to get into that Stalker game because mm. I got a mate that is like Stalker is his game. Yeah. And he's just like, he's always I, talks I followed, about. I followed that development of the first one oh, yeah. so long. Um, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Um, but when it came around to playing it, I scared the shit out of me and I kind of stopped playing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I tried playing it a few years ago, but it was just like the graphics and I'm just like, I'm, it was too late pretty now. bad. Yeah. It's too, it's too late. Okay. Mm. Cause it came out like in the two thousands. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Like mid late two thousands. Yeah. So playing it now. You're like, oh yeah, this would have looked good <laughs> 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But they had interesting things with, um, the, the way the monsters kind of, uh, went about their lives. Yeah. Like they, they had offspring. They yeah. would protect them. That they would be, uh, what is it, territorial. Yeah. Um. Mm. That that was really interesting. I don't, I don't think many games were doing it back then. No. I kind of yeah. Thing. I think it was. Because uh, a mate of mine was just telling me about it, and he was. Uh, oh, I think it was actually Dane was t- telling me about yeah, it. Yeah, Dane. Dane's um, big fan. And he was saying that like yeah, you'd have like, like there'd be like packs of monsters that like, um, maybe you think you'd wipe them out. But like a couple are still alive, mm. and then you know a few days later or something, there's like a new pack of like thing these things roaming around because mm. like they're bred and like they're still mm. going. That's a quick and he'd, life cycle. And you'd find like you'd come across just like like battle scenes where things have just killed each other, mm. and you weren't even involved. Huh. And you're just like <laughs> I, like. That, I, you're I, like, dang, I missed out on all the fun. No, that's like really cool. No, dude. This, yeah, game this, played itself. This game is about sneaking around and shooting stuff. Like, you don't want to like, this ain't no Fallout where you're like, oh, I want to get inside every single battle. Because mm. like Fallout did that. You'd see the, the raiders like fighting each other and stuff. So when's this next stalker coming out? I, 
I don't know. When are they? I don't, don't remember what they said. Yeah, it was just an announcement yeah. trailer or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other games you guys want to talk about? Um, there was that Fable <laughs> announcement. <laughs> did, did, did you get into Fable? I got, dude. Okay, Fable 1, Yeah. I bought an Xbox for. I was so, <laughs> I got so, Molyneux, he got me. Uh, with yeah. his, like, you got Molyneux. I got Molyneux with like all his promises <laughs> of like, oh, everything you do is going to have consequences. It's mm. going to be like, you'll you'll like grow old and like you'll have kids and then oh. and what's at the center of the cube yeah and what's in the center of the cube it'll change your life your life will never be the same mm. and i was like i'm getting this game oh my god that sounds amazing mm. um and like it was fun but it was not what he promised um but i bought a whole console for it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and and then i never i i played a little bit of i think it was i think it was uh three I think where you become a king. I think I played a little bit of that on uh -huh. on PC. Um, but like that was it. I never did the first game live up to those expectations that you had. Um, that that molin you and printed on you. Not really. Like it was. It was almost <laughs> there. Like you did. It was cool that your character grew older. Mm. Um, and like if you did evil acts, they turned looked more evil. Yeah. Mm. Like they grew horns and stuff. And if you if you did good acts, you looked more like angelic and stuff, which yeah. was cool. Um, the, the Knights of the Old Republic did that too, though. Did that? I don't remember. Yeah, because you, you would be Sith or Jedi, uh -huh. and as your actions yeah. uh, swayed you went to the light or the dark side of the Force, you would like... I mean, that makes you, sense. You would yeah. change physically. That's cool. Yeah. Um, did, you, did you grow horns? Uh, no, <laughs> but you did get white and wrinkly if you were... Oh, that's very much the same. And uh... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I suspect Molyneux was yeah. like, Star Wars did, does stuff like mm. this. Let's do Star Wars. Um, And they had a thing where, like, the people would recognize you depending on the deeds you did, which ah, was... the hero of Kvach. Which, which was true, but you had to, like... It, these titles would unlock mm. and then you had to set them and then they would like do that. <laughs> Jeez, they, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do behind that. Behind the like, scenes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I was like, you start off um, being called the chicken chaser mm. because one of your first things is like getting some chickens or something and everyone's mm. like, oh, chicken chaser, chicken chaser. And for ages, people were calling me chicken chaser and I couldn't figure it out because I'd done heroic deeds and then I find that there's like a menu with like all these titles that I'd unlocked. And I just changed them, and then they started calling me something else. It's so easy to just use, like, quest flags and yeah. just have it be, like, a random yeah. selection. And they had, oh, they had this, they had one of the worst things is that early on, you go to this, like, quest hub, and uh, you can see all these quests available, and you see there's only one that you are the level to do, but you see other ones that are, like, fighting trolls, fighting these, like, monsters or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those aren't, and you think, like, Oh, I'll I'll get to do that later. Those aren't real quests. They're just there to tease you, to be like, "Oh, look at what look at what is what? in store for you later on." Mm. But those quests aren't there. They're not actual quests. Why would they do that? I don't know. That's some bullshit. Well, yeah. Was DLC a thing back then? No. Nah. Okay. Oh, I think there was a there was a Fable Lost Chapters or something that was that, that that's sort the of thing like, you missed out on, man. Yeah, I don't, that, I don't those know. Lost Chapters. Um, and the what really like shattered my perspective <laughs> of that was that um so it's supposed to be all your you know whatever like your your actions have consequences like everything you do like uh matters um so i would figure oh if you fail a quest you just fail and the game just keeps going mm -hmm. when I, when i when i failed my first quest the game restarted from like the last checkpoint mm -hmm. and i was like this is this is kind of bullshit. Like, how can <laughs> you have a game? This is just a normal video game. Yeah, it's just a normal video game. How can you have? <laughs> how can you say this is a like living, breathing world yeah. and your 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 actions have consequences? When if you fail a quest, you they undo the consequences. Yeah, yeah, they restart you <laughs> the from consequences. The last you have to do yeah. it again and better. Like The Witcher, right? I mean, The Witcher is like what twenty years later or something. But The Witcher, if you fail a quest, you just fail it, even if it's like a mainline quest. Uh well. Those the the way the Witcher the way the Witcher gives you like consequences for failing those quests is that they they quests where the only way to fail it is to die. Uh huh. And if but, you die, and if you die, then you die. And and the world keeps going without you. And no, no. <laughs> and you. you oh, wait, actually, your, maybe your yes, camera it does. stays fixed. It does. You are slowly yeah it, de it, decrepit corpse. It does, Nick. It's still going right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, but then like in in uh, quest where like the consequences aren't dying yeah. of like I don't know finding someone or whatever. If you just don't, if you like, if you fail it, you just fail it, and it's like that's a failed quest. Mm. And in my list of like completed quests, there is a failed quest like column. Yeah, so you can see all the quests that you've like failed. Okay. You know, so the world just keeps so, going. The yeah. world just keeps going. You know, but I guess back then somehow that was too difficult to do they were just like no if you have to do these quests and if you fail it then... i'm pretty sure morrowind came out before that and had the capacity not only to fail quests mm. but to fail mainline quests permanently yeah actually morrowind was pretty crazy like that yeah yeah if if you killed someone who was integral to the storyline mm. the game would be like you can't beat this game anymore yeah but you can just keep playing yeah yeah it's fine yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, uh, after that, they were like, "You just can't kill those characters." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I—that's a very I kinda, smart thing. Uh, is it though? I kind of like that less in some ways. Well, it, what if you killed? Maybe they could do a thing where you kill that character, but then there is another character that 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 replaces them that in that sort role. Sort of just replaces them in that role. Yeah. Uh, I think they're actually they kind of experimented with. I feel like they kind of experimented that with that for some quests. But the problem is for that, there's obviously a hard limit, right? Yeah. You you there's only so many NPCs. Sure. And then what happens? You can just keep playing. <laughs> well, maybe that's the thing. In you your gotta, lonely world of one. Maybe that's the thing. You're so because if you accidentally kill a key quest giver, oh, whoops, what a mistake. Yeah. But if you actively kill the 50 people that replace that person uh-huh. one after the other, uh, you you know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 You're a serial I, killer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fairness, uh the is, is the Dark Brotherhood? Yeah. Yeah, our, that's their whole thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Um, Yeah, but like, I'm interested in, I'm actually quite interested in this fable because uh, I don't think Molyneux is involved at all. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> like, I, I'm pretty sure the company that originally, the studio that originally made fable, like, shut down. Lionhead Studios. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Molyneux hasn't been seen since the Cube incident. No, they they made uh, Godus. No, oh yeah, that's true. But you know what was in the center of the cube, right? The ability to own part of the company. I think it was just like beta access to Goddess. I I think it was also that like whoever did the final click owned part of the company. Now, mm, okay. I remember reading so that, about it. This is a tech scam. <laughs> yeah. So they they yeah. end up losing. We're out like, of ideas. We we will take literally anybody who will yeah. click on something. I did. Did you guys ever? He's l- responsible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. the scapegoat game. <laughs> Um, did you, did you hear how Molyneux got into the gaming industry? No. I think that, I do know this story, but he, I want to hear it. He happened to get like a, uh, a package that was meant for like an actual game. Studio. No. <laughs> That's oh right. my God. <laughs> That's right. And he was like, wait, they get paid this much money? And what? he pivoted. He, I think he was like selling paper or something like oh this. Oh God. Like office supplies. Yeah. Beforehand. Yeah. And yeah, he just made a beeline to video yeah. games. Man. Yeah. The thing is, I liked the games he made, like black and white and fable mm-hmm. i liked them but they were always like just like shy of greatness half, yeah like half of what you wanted them to be yeah yeah black and white it, 2 it, was it left you wanting more right yeah 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 maybe that's <laughs> always maybe that's even more, more. Yeah, yeah. that was their motto <laughs> yeah always leave them disappointed yeah. so that they're like maybe next time we'll be better <laughs> yeah. we always leave room for improvement <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, um so you guys have been playing games yeah uh I know, Blake, you've been playing something. I've been playing a game, a new game. No, oh. Not a new game. New game to me. Yep. Um, it's, it's technically a new game. It's <laughs> not game. out yet. Because I didn't realize this when I bought it. It is still in early access. Okay. And it shows. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it called? It's called Atlas. Uh-huh. Um, it is... Uh, it's one of these like survival games that I'm always playing. It's it's very much like Conan. It's very much like Ark. I just want to, uh, s- as soon as Severn heard survival <laughs> game, he, he just involuntarily started shaking his head I've, disappointment. I've got to Google this thing. Yeah. I, I know nothing about this. It, um, so the thing is, it's probably the ugliest one of those games. Like Really? I actually think it's quite good looking. Uh, those screenshots, I think they're doing some Photoshop. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because I, I was running on my computer, and I'm like, it just doesn't look, that great i don't know what's going on here like everything's on epic setting i'm like i don't i don't get it oh no you've got to set to the epic 
Epic bad? Uh, epic, uh, epic engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> um, like, Ark, Ark, I think, looked pretty great. Uh, I don't know, man. There's that one screenshot you sent me. I sent that screenshot, and you guys were like, what about that character's feet or something? And it's like, <laughs> that's a character creator. I made them like that. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, it looked horrible. Um, so, the, yeah, it's... um. I'm going to get the bad stuff out of the way. So it's like super buggy. Should we set aside some, is this like, sorry, go ahead. It's, it's really just like, it's not a great, it's not, a, <laughs> it's not a great game. It, maybe it, maybe it is like something is going on on my settings. I mean, this is early access, so who knows? Mm. But, um, I think arc, when I, I started playing that in early access, that looked a lot better. I think it, it play arc played better. Like, just switching your um, items on your hot hot bar, it seems to take ages. Uh-huh. Like you, you, everything you. I feel like everything you have to do very deliberately, because it's sort of it 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 feels sluggish mm. in a way that like Conan didn't and Ark definitely didn't. Like Ark, you press your your pickaxe button and boom, your pickaxe comes up. Yeah. This one, you press your pickaxe button and maybe it won't come up. <laughs> Ever <laughs> and then and then you click it again and then it'll like slowly. Come. It's just, it's it's the buggiest one of these games. It's the most sluggish and buggiest. But having said that, um, the thing that we the reason why we started playing was because we we're playing a lot of Sea of Thieves, um, and one of our mates who's playing that was always comparing Sea of Thieves to this game Ark. Uh, no, not Ark. Uh, uh, Atlas. <laughs> Atlas. <laughs> yeah. Um, because. Um, Atlas has is like mostly um, ocean based, so you you build a boat. Uh, you it's it's almost the same as Sea of Thieves. Like you 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 have a boat with a crew, and you got to adjust the sails for the wind, and like you got cannons, and there's like dog fight uh, dog fights at, at sea and stuff. Um, a big Leviathan. Yeah, there's big Leviathans. They've got like they've actually got a lot of cool stuff that Sea of Thieves doesn't like. They've got um we we were out at sea and um these massive tornadoes like showed up in the ocean and we were uh-huh. like, we were like do- trying to dodge around these, like this massive like cluster of tornadoes. It was like terrifying and they're huge. That's cool. Yeah. It was so cool. And there's like, um, yeah, there's like giant, like Leviathan things. There's heaps of, um, like, uh, NPC, uh, ships around. Uh-huh. Like there's whole fleets that are just like patrolling around the place of these like undead, things a little bit like sea of thieves but these are like uh-huh. these are like actual like fleets that you can like see from a distance that don't just like pop up you right know, it's not right, a, a right, random right, encounter right. um there's also like the the player count is huge uh sea of thieves i think can only have like 20 players on a server or something really yeah That's it's, it's really really low um and i think we figure because like the ocean physics or something like there's oh. a lot of there's a lot of ocean yeah physics happening there but does that need to happen server side i have no idea i i really don't know i mean it, it'll have to because like the the ocean guess, it depends it de- it, you don't want to get out of sync yeah you can't be out of sync especially ship battle yeah yeah um still yeah but um yeah and this this world is like massive as like my friend was saying that uh one island um just just a sort of a, a typical middle-sized island is about the same size as the entire Ark Island that we were right. on. So they're huge. And there's like, it's got all the standard like um, survival stuff. Like you go in on those, you go into these islands, you're finding food. Yep. You're finding like, you need to keep your water up. You got to manage your stamina. They've got this interesting thing um, where you need to manage your nutrition <sighs> or else scurvy. Uh, or else scurvy. I'm yeah. already struggling with that in real life. I don't want to have to worry about that in a game. Yeah. Well, well don't worry. You only have to eat four things, four different colored foods. <laughs> it's done by color. It's done by color. Mm-hmm. And there's like these little bars. Uh huh. Um, so you have to basically like keep all these like four bars up. And uh, different foods have like different little like arrows, <laughs> uh, little like colored icons. Mm-hmm. So you know that this is oh this is the blue this will fill fill the blue bar this mm. will fill the like the the orange bar or whatever mm-hmm. um, and you if you're like deficient in one you'll start like getting hurt <laughs> and it'll 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 pop up with like this little like mineral thing that's the color of the thing you're deficient in mm. uh-huh. um, so yeah you just have to like find find the right foods um, you know manage your nutrition and stuff is that fun um, 
at first it was incredibly annoying because we couldn't find any blue food. <laughs> what is blue? Turns out blue food is fish. Ah. Um, we we had like, yeah, we yeah we just died of uh, I don't know. Not enough fish oil or something. <laughs> yeah. Fish deprivation. <laughs> we had fish deprivation. Defishdration. Yeah. Um but it, it like it's it's cool because the world is so massive and we've been uh just heading north from from our starting point, trying to find an island to like baby basically settle on. Everywhere we've found so far has just got like like ship massive player ships are just parked up all over the place. Um What? I'm just thinking about why do you like these games, Blake? It's, dude, it's I'm, the exploration. I'm wondering this too. I really like like this this particular game. I really like the exploration. Okay, like, but there's there's games that have like randomly gen- okay Minecraft. Minecraft yeah. has big randomly generated yeah. worlds. You can explore that yeah. for as long as you want. I have, and you don't have to look for fish. I have, and uh, you know what? I want something more. You, I feel like this is a creeping. This is a creeping thing. Like we all years ago, the same crew of people started with Minecraft. Yep, and. Ten years later, we've gone through all these different survival games, and now we're at like this one, which is definitely the most complicated one. And is it is the complication part of the appeal? Um, it it kind of is. Yeah, it is. I like I do, and I do like that you have to manage your nutrition because it means you have. <laughs> Every to... time you say it, I just it makes me go ugh. <laughs> because like it makes sense. You're in the ocean, and you're in the ocean like I don't know seventy percent of the time. Uh huh. So, like, if you you can't just eat, does food meat go bad constantly? Yes, food goes bad. Ooh, food always goes bad. And I think you can use the rotten meat for probably like compost or something. That's usually or fish bait, or maybe fish bait or something. Like you can use you can use almost everything for something like for compost. What? Yeah, well, that, that's what as, was ha- as an avid gardener. You don't <laughs> use meat in compost. I think what were we using yeah, in? Oh, no. yeah, uh, no the. Well, okay, now we're getting into the... <laughs> you can, yeah. but you have to have your compost you pile be warm enough that the fats break down. And uh, most most compost piles are not going to get that warm. Um, okay. Otherwise, the, the no fat... No argument here. The fat, the fat no. just goes fetid, and uh, and then you'll, you'll start getting pests and diseases. Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you eat rotten meat, you end up throwing up, and you... You, you look real hurt, good. You hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, you get real... <laughs> Is that not well, one of the bars? <laughs> no, no. Green is no. green for rotten green. meat. <laughs> yeah, um, but like all the, all those games, I was saying like Ark and Conan. Yeah, all the meat rots, and you it yep. can be used as a resource in 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 sure. some things. Uh, so that's the same in this, like all the meat rots, and um, you will eventually like be able to make like better storage systems so that <laughs> refrigerator you can, refrigerators. Essentially, like in in Conan, we could make fridges. We could make refri- wait, fridge. really? Yeah. Uh, what you needed, like it, you needed, um, I think it was like a lot of metal to make like a metal <laughs> a metal box, right? Uh huh. But then you had and to- then you needed to find Freon. <laughs> no, no. Then we had to go and find like ice. Okay. okay. So we just make an ice box. We mm. go up into the mountains. You can't do that with mud or anything. Get it? Nah. <laughs> it has to be metal. <laughs> No, it has to be metal. I think, it, yeah, it was definitely metal. Um, yeah, we went up into the mount, uh, styrofoam into the, into the mountains and mm. got some ice and came back and we made like ice boxes and we had like all this meat in these ice boxes. And it Why never don't went you take bad. your metal up the mountain? And then and because then we didn't want to live in the mountain. <laughs> it was cold in the mountain. Well, just put your meat there. Yeah. The ice then you don't, even, you don't even. Yeah. You, to bring it down. Well, what's, you what's, don't what's, even need to bring, get uh, the ice. You uh, just put the box up there. So I think we noticed. Like we just assumed that the ice would eventually like melt, yeah. right? Turned out it didn't in in Conan. That's we, some bullshit, man. Yeah, <laughs> and we were, we were all like, "Oh, they've definitely like this is an oversight here," because like everything else, you put like wood on a campfire, the wood slowly turns into charcoal, mm. right? You would think that the the ice in the fridge would eventually you'd end up with water, like, water and then water vapor and yeah. then nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were like, like one of my, one of my mates was always like filling the 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 ice boxes with ice because he was like, "I don't want this meat to go bad." And it turns out like days later, he was like. It's full of ice. We got to no no de-ice this thing. This, no. not, this ice is not going anywhere. Oh, no, the ice is multiplying. <laughs> we got too much ice now. Um, but um, so what What I'm actually like really liking about that, that this game. Atlas. Is, Atlas. Is, um, so Sea of Thieves, you have your ship and you um, you, you deck it out with your, your stuff, uh-huh. like with your cosmetics. Yep. And. Yeah, that's your that is your ship, but like if it sinks, it's like oh well, you respawn an island, you get another ship. 
No, yeah. bi- no big deal. This, it's like you're building your ship like panel by panel. Uh huh. Like we we have we are on this. We found an island that's like l- l- not so many people on now. Like we've gone far enough out from the starting zone that we're encountering less people. So we found an island. We're gathering all the resources we need to make this like medium sized ship. Yeah. Um. And it's it it it's taken us like several hours, and we're about halfway oh, through building this ship. And it's like sitting there. Where, in, so where does the fun part happen? This is fun. <laughs> And it's sitting there in this like dock that we built, uh-huh. and like you, you see made the a dry ribs. dock. <laughs> yeah, we a dry yeah. dock, and we you have to make a dry dock, and you see the ribs of it, and then like it's coming on panel by panel, and then like we've just put like the one of the floors down. You know, people make a really good living doing this in real life. I know. Why not just? Well, why not build a ship in real <laughs> <Yeah>. life? <laughs> this is this is oh my god. Well, this you is like you like gamifying work. You like Zelda's climbing. Why not climb a mountain in real life, Nick? Uh. Because it's not going to make me money. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. You if know you, what? If you get and good, when, you know, yeah, when if you get good at it, when there's croc the seas, when there's croc seas on top of real mountains, yeah, yeah. you'll see me climbing you mountains. Mean when there's, poop? I can, I can lay a, I can <laughs> yeah, lay, you can lay a croc <laughs> seed at the top <laughs> of your croc seed, put it under a rock. <laughs> hey, will it expand the amount of weapons I can carry? It depends on who you sell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I like it. It feels like it feels like this is our ship that we're building. And the thing is, like, once it's built, we can also add to it. Like, mm. we like you know, uh, like um, um, survival crafting style. You know, you put, are like, they predefined ships? They they are predefined ships, but you can build your own stuff on it as well. So yeah. you can make extra like platforms for guns and things like that. Mm. But the, all the ships have a weight to them. So the thing is, if you load on too many guns on one side on one side yeah it'll it'll start tilting it'll sink if it like it's overweight um it, it'll also be... maybe that that ship has too much nutrition maybe if it's overweight it'll, yeah maybe feed it some like spoiled food. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's a purge that's what it needs um uh yeah you can like if it, the heavier it is the slower it is kind of thing like it's it's got some interesting like uh Sit, like more complication than like Sea of Thieves, where like, like my friend um, compared Sea of Thieves. He was like, Sea of Thieves is just like an arcade version, mm. like it's very arcadey. And as we clarified before, arcade means fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is still this is still fun, but it's just like extra more, more of a simulator, it, more a little bit more of a simulator. The the okay, let me ask you this, Blake. What is it simulating? Um, I don't know exploration. Na- right. naval the the age of sail or whatever okay yeah. sure um it's cool and i like that like we just roll up to places and there's like people have already like we we went up to this like little island and people had like built castles on it and it's like these people have like made forts and stuff on there and their ships are like parked around and stuff mm. it's cool is I'm, everyone hostile uh we well we're playing on a pve server mm. while we're learning uh-huh uh, cause, uh, our mate was like, I don't want you guys coming on a, a PVP server mm. from the start. Cause we'll just get wrecked. Yeah. Um, we're going to, eventually we're going to go on this server that, um, I think it's a, a guild or some gaming channel called Armco and they, they do a bunch of like, uh, I think they started off doing like armor or something and they, they, they run a server that my mate plays on and, um, yeah, he, he says it's really great. Like they've got. That you need to like read the rules of the server oh. and then like join their Discord <laughs> channel. So we're gonna we're gonna do that and see see how that goes. That's um, cool. Yeah. If everyone's into it, I yeah. Every, think everyone's into good. it. Everyone's into it. And like, is this a, is this you being indoctrinated into a cult? My be. I have to wear uh, all white. It's, yeah, uh, it's very strange. Change your name. Yeah, I have to give up all my possessions. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's the it's the... we build all our own ships here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, everyone is very careful about their nutrition. Um, it's cool though. Like, okay, so when we like, I played last night, and just before I logged off, um, we'd 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 not seen many players. Like, we had a we had this giant ship out in the ocean, almost hit us. It was like we were on this little ship. It's called a ramshackle uh, sloop, I think, or something that we've got. Like, uh-huh. it's it's like the most basic ship you can get. Sure. And we didn't build it; we bought it. 
okay. off the off the um the, like the starting island. We just uh-huh. traded in a bunch of resources and we 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 got on there. And so we're on this like little ship, this little two mast ship. Yeah. And then this giant like player ship is like heading towards us, and uh, they, our captain is like, whoa, like turning to avoid like a collision. Yeah. And we just pass each other, and the thing is like two stories taller than like us uh-huh it it was like a building just past us it was cool. so huge and it was just like whoosh it went by and i was like oh my god did you feel that scale yeah i really did like it was it was really really cool does it leave a wake dude the water physics is not damn it is is not good okay it's there's water flat. there's water constantly clipping onto our deck like it's it's not uh, going, that's called going, splashing yeah, I life. mean, you know, you can you can or say that, but you know, it's just like, uh. um, <laughs> I mean, the Sea of Thieves water is like, oh, it's exceptional, you know, you know. So going from that to this is like, this is you know, not not the greatest. Yeah, but um, yeah, but w- when we when we logged off, um, we we were building we we're building our ship and stuff, getting gathering resources, and I, I saw another player ship come in, a really big one. It, it was like six masts. It was huge. Our little ship that we came on was just like two masts and it was like tiny. It was the reason the water was like clipping over our deck so much is because we were so close to the actual like water line. Okay. So it's not so much the water physics as much as you had a, we, you yeah. had overfilled your, your ship. Yeah. We had, we just had a, we just, well, we, our ship was just small and it was like, like quite low to the yeah. water, you know? Um, okay. You know, so that's kind of why it was like clipping over with the larger ships. We won't even have that problem. Can you go inside the like, ship yeah yeah and then do you see yeah. water like i don't know through? we've oh uh, no i we can't go inside our ship our, sh- our ship has no <laughs> lower deck just, this is this is how in a dinghy. Uh, we're, we're, in a, we're, in a, dinghy. we're in a big we're in a big dinghy imagine a big dinghy with two masts okay yeah that's that's us we've got no below deck the ship that we're building now has one deck below uh, um that we've been what? spending three uh, hours building oh my god so imagine the amount of time put into that big ship yeah i know and the the imagine what you could do with that time blake I know I could I could play uh, <laughs> you could you could play Ark again. You, you could know? you could probably finish uh, uh, <laughs> one of your infinite uh, Civ games. <laughs> well, I finished them all. I felt like I'd won. So you know what else was there? Um, and uh, yeah, well, before we logged off, um, we'd had a we'd, we our ship was like about halfway done. We're yep. sitting there, we're like, oh yeah, all right, we'll finish this because it was going to take another like three hours and it was like midnight at this point <laughs> <laughs> and uh another can't handle any more of this fun <laughs> yeah i can't this fun we're having this fun too much fun um i gotta sleep i'm too wound up from building this ship for three hours <laughs> well i mean you know the 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 guy that um was always insisting us to play this. He's, yeah. He's, he's the guy that spent six hours taming the... Yeah, the oh, you've mentioned. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And he's the guy who also sails ships for a living. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. So he, he's really, he really loves it. Um, I wonder why. Yeah. It is, this is just like my job. <laughs> it is cool. Like, this is... A, this I'm is, not even getting great. paid for this. <laughs> Finally. Um, what a dream. <laughs> yep. Um... But yeah, we were sitting there about to log off, and this like huge. I think he, I think he was saying it was the biggest ship in the in the game. It was like this six mast monster shows yeah. up, and we're looking over, and we're like, "Is that a giraffe on this on this?" Ship? Oh, you found Noah. It was a giraffe and an elephant. Yeah, you found Noah finally. There he is. <laughs> and it, yeah, He's ready it, for the flood. It straight up looked like the Ark with like the giraffe. You were playing Ark the whole time. That was yeah. the twist. <laughs> And then he comes on. He right. He hops on his giraffe and <laughs> hops on his giraffe. <laughs> See you later, losers. Yeah, he hops on his, he hops on his giraffe. <laughs> jumps in the water, and the giraffe's head is like just above the water. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps in the water on the giraffe. And he, and he Wait, comes- so the giraffe's head is above the water. Where's the guy's head? He's like in the water. See you later. <laughs> And he, he comes up he comes up on shore and he's like uh, he starts like he sees that we're building this ship and he sees that we had like the ramshackle sloop that's like the beginning thing and he just starts dumping resources for us like hundreds <laughs> like hundreds like thousands of like wood and stone and like all the stuff that we need and we're like oh great thanks and then you know why he's doing that 
out of pity because he realizes how long it's going to take. He's done it. Yeah. Well, he must have done it. That ship yeah. is and he's giant. Like, this is this is you're going to be so bored. Yeah. And the thing the thing with like the the thing that uh you can if you if you're playing solo, you can like hire NPC crew to like <laughs> To crew okay. all the stuff, so that yeah. seems to be what he had because he uh. was the only one there. But yeah, and then he just rides off into the night on his uh, <laughs> on his giraffe. giraffe. Oh my goodness! All right, what a good guy. Yeah, and it's great. Uh, you reckon you're gonna play a bunch more of that? Yeah, I'm gonna keep playing it. <laughs> cool. Um, I bought it for twelve bucks on sale, so I'm I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Hey, yeah, fair enough. It's like almost forty bucks normally. Oh my god, which goodness. I think is shocking <laughs> for an early access game. Yeah, yeah, forty dollars. Okay. It's it's like thirty six something. Is it's there a release there. date? Um, I didn't look. All right. I didn't okay. actually even when I bought it. I just assumed it was out because like my friend had been playing it for like a year. And it's called Atlas because you have to carry the world. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh, yep. Um. All right. Well, we're basically out of time. Uh. I'll I'll read out. Uh. I'll read out this one reply because uh I think last episode. Uh, we, we talked about that, uh, listener Nick enjoyed hearing about patch notes and I asked why, because why, but, uh, he has replied. He said, you just listened to the latest podcast. Uh, you asked why? Well, it's not because of the patch notes. Believe me. <laughs> oh, it's Nick, be- that's your job. Oh, I know. <laughs> he's, <It's>, he's... <laughs> he said it's because of the processes. I guess I guess I just like to hear how other companies operate because it often gives me ideas or a jumping off point for my own. Uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of get that. Like hearing uh other people's approaches, especially when you're in a similar industry or even a totally different industry, mm. hearing how things uh how certain processes have developed is, yeah. is interesting. So I get it. But um, I'm glad that we now know that, yes, patch notes are indeed the worst. Yep. You, guys, you guys got anything to add? I agree. <clears throat> no. Not, Good. Re- not really. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, all right. Well, we'll be back in a couple weeks. Wait a minute. If um, Nick wants to write in, what, what industry are you in? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Let yeah, us know, actually, Nick. That's a good question. You're not talking about me, right? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, good. Just making sure. Uh yeah, uh, you're, in the, us... you're in the trolling industry. Yeah. Me, yeah, <laughs> online troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your GGG's online troll. That's right. That's not true at all. That's Bex. <laughs> uh, uh, email frenziequestionsgmail.com. Nick, we want to hear from you. Tell us what you do. Tell us about some of your processes. Uh, and if you aren't Nick, you can email us. Tell us what you do. Tell us about some of your processes. Tweet at us at frenziecast or send us a message on Facebook. Facebook.com/slash frenziecast. Uh, frenzygamer.wordpress.com is our WordPress site. We've got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash frenzycast. Subscribe on there. You guys doing any twitching? No, I haven't done any twitching. Yeah, not, not recently. No I'm, twitching. I should, uh, I, do you reckon I should twitch Atlas? Yeah, uh, I think so. Sounds like it's probably pretty twitchy already. Am I yeah, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a bug joke. Nice. Thank you. Uh, and we'll be back with more bug jokes in a couple weeks. Uh, but next week you can hear the next episode of... Uh, oh yeah, Seven Gates. Yeah. Well, oh. so uh, write in and let us know what you think of those because because yeah. um, nobody's listening. We have no idea. People <laughs> like them. Yeah, a few people have said, "Oh, we really li- that they really like it," but like the uh, viewership doesn't seem. No, to no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, it's but- like people can specifically see which ones is like the D and D ones and which is not, and they just don't. Yeah, they got like a tenth yeah. of the. Well, they're, they're about half. They're about oh, half. Okay. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Okay, great. Well, Only yeah, if, you, if you're one of the listeners, let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to hear more of. Let us know what we can improve. Mm-hmm. And we'll be back uh, next week and then the week after that with totally different things. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll see you then. Bye. This is just a me. This is just a me. Yeah. No, this is just a me problem because my friends get in fine straight away. So I don't know why. Do you have an SSD? No, I don't. Well, there you go. That's what I'm thinking. But like, <laughs> that's what I thought. But like, one of my mates is like, he, he doesn't oh, have, an, have, know, have an SSD. You know probably, he's just loading it. It's probably you're, well. you're trying to save your life. <laughs>
the universe. <laughs> it's it's just a computer going, Blake, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> Think about what you're doing. Dude, I've look, I looked up online and there's like a bunch of other people having the same problem. Like, I don't know what's yeah. going on. They, and the they, thing they is, have problems. And it's thing, not the computer. So the thing is this, is, this is only when I've connected to another server. If I try to just start a local game, it just loads in fine. Mm. But then it's like loading into like another server. It, it'll just like freeze up, lose connection. I don't know. It'll just... I don't know why you do They have better games. Like... I, I, the only success I've had is like... You haven't even beat Zelda yet. The only success I've had is like turning my graphics all the way down, <laughs> then trying to load in. Yeah. It'll load in. Then I can turn my graphics all the way back up. Jesus. Playing in window mode, I think, might have helped as well. Like, mm. I, I don't like it. Play Zelda. This this year, there I want to are... finish at least one of these giant open world games that I've started. There are good games, man. Because there's, <laughs> there's Zelda, Red Dead. Um, just play... If yeah. You just play a little bit of Zelda today, and yeah. you'll be like, fuck Atlas. A little, a little Zelda today. Yeah. Is that your prescription? Yeah. <laughs> a little Zelda a day keeps Atlas away. <laughs> Dude, it's cool. I'm liking this Atlas game. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. It sounds like... I wish, uh, the only thing is, I wish it was, uh, like, as you polished. You see in your old age, is that happening? <laughs> I, I wish it was as polished as, like, a Sea of Thieves. Mm. If the Sea of Thieves had these things, it would be, like, the greatest game ever made. So you wish that, like, in Sea of Thieves, you could spend six hours building a boat? I mean, maybe not six hours, but I... <laughs> But it would be cool to like... What's an appropriate amount of time to spend building a virtual boat? Let's like? say an hour. An hour is a good time. So you're... When you're with friends, hour the time just flies by. Okay. It's the social element. It, uh, I mean... There's, so, but there's a guy out there who played it alone. Yes. <laughs> and built a giant boat. <laughs> what the fuck? And also there's... I mean, there's taming animals as well. Oh. Um, you can spend six hours taming a dinosaur? I don't know how long it takes to tame animals. But I would expect if it's like that, it could be six hours... My friend was telling me that if you go to the bottom of the ocean, there's giant crabs to tame. Shit. You can, what you do can... you do with a tame crab? How do, you, how do you swim to the bottom of the ocean? Uh, you, you can build a diving bell. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. With... Yeah, see? <laughs> that is cool. Can you get a hydrofoil from there? Because <laughs> that's what I want. I don't know. I don't know. Catamaran? Like you can, you can build... You can... <laughs> no, but you can make a raft. <laughs> Um, which is kind of like a surfboard. Yeah, which is kind of like a surfboard. Well, it's like a... A, a sup? A, a stand-up paddleboard? Yeah, it's a stand-up paddleboard. Water skis? What's, it, what's those wind sails? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you do that? Um, not really. Okay. Um, like, it's 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 cool, but, like, man, if it was as polished as uh, Sea of Thieves, it would be just fantastic. Mm. Worry about you, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>